Hi guys, a quick video to show what's new in Bashrata 1.41 and usually uh, midterm updates are small things like bug fixes but this time I added several last minute features and um, the update will be available in the beginning of the next week. First of all, in the last video I showed you how I use Bashrata history to add last used tools uh, on the panel but what I realized is that I have more of five or six uh, favorite items it takes a lot of time to add them one by one. So what I did is uh, I added an option to add all favorites uh, to Bershutter in one go. Another small enhancement is that now Bershutter history shows what tool was selected on the panel. And the last time I forgot to mention that to remove all the favorites you can double click any favorite icon. Next is Brushrutter Preview. I didn't do any modifications for it for quite a long time and uh, just uh, as a recap, it's a little panel that shows a stroke preview for all the buttons. And recently I thought of putting it right in front of my Brushrutter and making the panel vertical. And the problem was that default size for the previews is uh, horizontal. So in the update it's possible to set the default size for new previews. Like in my case I decided to make them vertical. And there's a new function in right mouse button menu to remake a preview. So what I can do is to select all my buttons or some or several of them and uh, recreate a preview with a new size. And another small addition is that it's possible now to remove uh, the alternative preset for the brush from the edit button window. So for my new Uber shelf, I made a bunch of custom previews that I find quite useful. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the Rotor Plus. I still sometimes receive messages when people ask what's the point of it and uh, how is it better than Rush Rotor. So I guess I kind of failed to communicate the point of it because Plus is nothing more than just a copy of Rush Rotor, allowing to have opened several shelves in the same time. For example, me, I have all my painting tools on one main shelf and on Plus I have a really narrow and small shelf opened all the time it contains several scripts and functions like uh, flip, create guides, things like that. Things that I use quite often but not enough to put them on hotkeys. And you can see that this panel is packed with uh, functionality and it doesn't really take a lot of space. And some time ago I received a message and uh, the person was asking if I'm going to add uh, another brush router to the mix. And this made me chuckle because the very first version of Bershrutter was supposed to have not one, not two, but five Bershrutter panels. So in this update I decided to add a third Bershrutter, which is going to be called Bershrutter Plus 2. Yes, nothing really much to say about it. It's the same as Plus, just a third copy of the Bershrutter panel, where you can keep your... keep any shelf. Uh, like in this example, I'm having uh, my vector tools in there. And another small thing I want to talk about is uh, something I added in the last minute. It's that text labels are just labels now, because you can assign a custom thumbnail to them. Like in this case, I'm going to use this beautiful label I made uh, as an example. And obviously you can convert between two from edit button menu. That's all for this update. Uh, thanks everyone for your suggestions and uh, feedback, which helped to make Bajorator a much better product than it was before. In the next several weeks I'm going to concentrate on finishing Layer Factory. Mm. And uh, there are also several panels coming. And I really hope to finish them in the next month or so, because I really need to work on my portfolio. I didn't, I didn't paint for myself for more than a year now, probably, which means that I'm a <laughs> not an artist anymore. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, thank you very much for your time, and uh, have a great day.